God knows how long, what they've been to Nicki Minaj's family. So Minaj claimed Friday that journalists were harassing her family and revealed proof of unrelenting contact by one reporter in particular. She says, uh, Minaj says, threatening my family in Trinidad won't bode well for you. She wrote this on, uh, on Instagram using the platform Stories Features. She says they're forcing my family to have to hide out. This is what speaking up looks like. Millions of poor people are treated this way by the people you think are the good guys. This is unconscionable. She almost sounds, she almost sounds conservative. Minaj targeted two reporters in particular, one from the Daily Mail and another Charlene Rampersad of The Guardian. Uh, media Limited, a media company headquartered in Trinidad's capital city of Port of Spain. Included with her message, Minaj posted screenshots of messages that Ramper said allegedly sent one of Minaj's family members. The messages from Ramper said spent two days and sounded coercive. Here they are. After repeatedly messaging the family member and not receiving a, a response, here's what uh, here's what Ramper uh, said of the uh, of the Daily Mail said. Listen to this. This is who the media has become. I know you are hesitant to speak with us. This is this is a, a text. I don't know how he got the number of Nicki Minaj's uh, uh, family member here, but I know you are hesitant to speak with us. But just letting you know. CNN is in the country looking for you, and when they find you, they won't hesitate to reveal where you live or where your girlfriend lives. Anything and anyone who is tied to you. Sounds like a veiled threat to me. If you speak to me, however, we won't reveal those details. So, what do you say? Creepy, right? Creepy. Almost as if the media is desperate even with Nicki Minaj as, as popular as she is to perpetuate this narrative about COVID, that COVID is, you can't speak out about COVID. You can't question COVID. But the bottom line, Joe Biden is starting to be questioned because see, here's the problem. This is a man that said he would get it under control. He has not gotten it under control and the numbers are skyrocketing. Biden has been proclaiming to defeat the Wuhan virus and that was his central mission, supposedly. But the United States is now averaging, listen to this, more than 145,000 confirmed cases per day, compared with a low of about 8,500 per day just three months ago. Ha! Huh, thought the vaccines were working. Anyway, this is Carl Jackson sitting in for the great Eldersky. We'll be back in a few.